Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I wanted to come back to this radio, and um, since I goofed up on my previous show about this radio, um, how do you like my little sign here? These are pretty cool. This is uh, USB controlled. You uh, hook it up to your computer. There's some software that goes with it. You set up whatever you want to be displayed, and it retains that. I haven't used it in six months, and I just plugged it in. Pretty cool. Anyway, I did a show on that, so we're going to put that aside for now. And what I wanted to show you is, because I goofed up on the previous show, is the capability of this radio. And I did a show on this before, quite a while ago, over a year ago probably. Um, and I just checked, these are available on Amazon in red. They came, originally came in, I think, three different colors. In red, in their twenty-eight ninety-four, which was the original price, they were when they went on sale for half price when I got this one. So, still a pretty good bargain. It's the uh, Radio Shack Emergency Radio. That's if you search on Amazon, that's what it is. But what I wanted to show you again is the capacity of the little Dynamo and the built-in rechargeable battery. Now I've completely discharged, well not completely, but I've discharged this to the point that the light, which I've got switched on, doesn't come on at all. The radio, I got switched on, doesn't come on at all. So it's, it's just, it's discharged down to that point. It still has some residual charge from where I charged it from the previous show. So I'm not starting for as dead as it was sitting six to twelve months like I like it was in the previous show. But I want to give you some indication. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna do a one minute sixty second charge. That's about all the capacity I have left. And see how long it will play. So here we go. So I'm gonna start my little timer here. And then I'm gonna start charging for sixty seconds. Halfway there. I'm about to give out here. Forty seconds. To see my face, it wasn't a pretty sight. Anyway, I got it done. Um, and there's whoops, I got the light on, and I've got the radio on, so it's working. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. That was only 60 seconds of charging, and I think I had the uh, the light and the radio still on when I was charging. That's probably not that good. Um, but we're going to see how long it lasts. Let me stop this and reset it. There we go. Now I'm going to play the, I'm going to do both. I'm going to play the radio and the light at the same time. And let's we'll see how long it lasts. So I'm going to turn the radio on. And we'll go to weather here's which band you can select AM FM and weather so there's AM there's weather and then you come over here and you select what weather channel that's one two there's three okay so I'm gonna turn up the volume Tuesday night west wind surround five knots then becoming and we got a start I nope, almost forgot to start timer after midnight 
Okay, so what I'm going to try to, try to show you is um, the capacity with just a one minute charge of and using both the radio and the light. So say I don't, you know, I don't have any electricity, so I want some source of light, plus I want to listen to the radio. So let's, that's what we're going to do. We'll turn our light on. The light's on. Pretty bright. And we'll just see with that torture test how long it lasts. Coastal waters forecast for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 4.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Today, northeast winds around 5 knots then becoming north late in the afternoon. Seas 2 feet or less. Scattered thunderstorms. Tonight, north winds around 10 knots then becoming northeast toward morning. Seas 2 feet or less. Isolated thunderstorms in the evening. Scattered thunderstorms after midnight. Monday, east winds around 10 knots, then becoming south around 5 knots in the late morning and early afternoon, then becoming west late in the afternoon. Seas 2 feet or less. Scattered thunderstorms. Monday night, northwest winds around 5 knots, then becoming north late in the evening, then becoming southeast after midnight. Seas 2 feet or less. Isolated thunderstorms in the evening, then scattered thunderstorms after midnight. Tuesday, southeast winds around 5 knots, then becoming south. Seas 2 feet or less. Scattered thunderstorms. Tuesday night, northwest winds around 5 knots, then becoming north around 5 knots late in the evening, then becoming east around 10 knots after midnight. Seas 2 feet or less. Scattered thunderstorms. Wednesday, east winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 feet or less. Scattered thunderstorms. Wednesday night, east winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 feet or less. Scattered thunderstorms. Thursday, southeast winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 feet. Scattered thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Tarpon Springs to Swanee River out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 4.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Today, southwest winds around 5 knots then becoming west in the late morning and early afternoon, then increasing to around 10 knots late in the afternoon. Seas 2 feet or less. Bay and inland waters a light shock. Isolated thunderstorms. That's 3 Tonight, minutes. Northwest winds around 10 knots diminishing to around 5 knots after midnight. Seas 2 feet or less. Bay and inland waters a light shock. Isolated thunderstorms after midnight. Monday, northwest winds around 5 knots then becoming west in the late morning and early afternoon, then increasing to around 10 knots late in the afternoon. Seas 2 feet or less. Bay and inland waters a light shock. Isolated thunderstorms. Monday night, west winds around 10 knots diminishing to around 5 knots late in the evening, then becoming south after midnight. Seas 2 feet or less. Bay and inland waters a light shock. Scattered thunderstorms. Tuesday, southwest winds around 5 knots. Seas 2 feet or less. Bay and inland waters smooth. Scattered thunderstorms. Tuesday night, West winds around five knots okay, there's four minutes. I'm going to turn the radio down. Still on, I'm just going to turn it down. That's four minutes after only a one-minute charge. Now, granted, I had charged it before in my previous video, so it had some charge on it, and then I ran the battery down so that the radio and the light would not come on, and that's where I started from in this video. So I did have some charge on that battery. Um, much more than it would have had on my previous show when I started with a battery that had been not charged for almost a year now. Now I've had this radio I'm pretty sure over a year and it has held up well. I've used it a couple of times. I've only charged it probably I have not charged it in a year. And again, it's only got the 300 microamp battery. 
I think it's micro yet. Maybe it's mil yet. But it's small. It's about the size what you would have in your uh, wireless home phone. You can out blinking, and we're up to five minutes. Still playing, but the blinking means the voltage is getting too low. The light is barely on. But it's still working. Five minutes and 30 seconds. It'll probably go down here in a few seconds. But that's on a 60 second charge. And some of the reviews I saw on Amazon, people didn't like it because they said it didn't, you know, when you charged it, it didn't last very long as far as playing or the light uh, when you charged it, even for like five minutes. They said, I think one comment was, I charged it for five minutes and it only played for an hour. An hour? What do you want? And, and I've kind of put a heavy load on it that I had the light in and it just went off at just beyond six minutes. So it lasted six minutes. Again, you can get one of these off of Amazon for um, twenty eight ninety four, I believe it is. Right now is the time to get one if you don't have some kind of emergency radio. This one gives you AM, FM, the uh, NOAA weather band. It uh, gives you a light. It also gives you a USB output to attempt to charge your cell phone. Now, we could do a quick test here. If I've got enough strength left, I will, I will make sure i got everything turned off. Here, i got everything turned off this time. And I'm going to crank it for a minute, and then I'm going to see if I can get my cell phone over here and see if it will charge my cell phone, although my cell phone is fully charged. But just, let me just see if I can get an indication on my cell phone. I'm going to try it. Let me just hang in there for a second. Let me see. <clears throat> Okay, I got my I got my cell phone here, and let me go back to the home screen, and it is 100% charged. So let me turn on a couple of things. Maybe I can discharge it a little bit. I'm going to turn on Wi-Fi is turned on. I'm going to turn on GPS. That usually sucks the battery down, and we'll see. Um, we we'll see if I can discharge it enough. Okay, yeah, I guess get back to the home screen. Okay, retrain. There we go. Now, I, it looks like I can get it to uh, discharge fast enough. It's still at a hundred percent, so that may not be. Let's just see what kind of indication we get. Let's see if I get some kind of indication that it is charging. So I'm going to. Recharge that little battery for a crank of 60 seconds. Here we go. Hopefully I can make it. Fifty seconds. Okay, sixty seconds. So I charged it for sixty seconds. Now I'm not going to turn the uh, radio on. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to turn the radio on, and I'm not going to turn the flashlight on. So I'm going to go to the back here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and we want output on so the this USB port will be supplying battery power from that little built-in battery which is probably 4.5 volts and maybe there's a little up conversion to get 5 volts let's just see if my cell phone will indicate any charge so I'm going to plug it in here jammed in there and indeed see if you can see it okay, there's my little battery app and that little probably can't see it too well but there's a little orange lightning bolt and that means it's charging whoops also um, also up here again you can't see it whoops nah hit the wrong button so it, it is charging no I don't it stopped charging so maybe that's it that was it uh, again this little icon here will show that it's charging if it's charged even if it's at 100% it will show it's charged it stopped so it only lasted for a few seconds there uh, from that 60 seconds of charging so probably what has happened is the output voltage here is dropped down the, below the minimum needed to charge the cell phone. So that's it. We gave it an attempt. Uh, you would probably, let me unplug this, you would probably, I'm guessing to, say your cell phone was, the battery was down enough that you couldn't use it because you had used it and um, for other emergency calls and it was down so that you couldn't use it. Most likely, I'm guessing because I didn't do a full test here, most likely if you charge this for say five minutes it possibly could give you enough charge on your cell phone to use it for like a minute to make a phone call. The other thing you can do is you can use this output while you're cranking it to get a voltage out to charge the, your cell phone. Let me just try that. I can't do it very long because my arm's about to give out. So let me plug this cable back into my cell phone. And let me let me restart. I think I've confused my little uh, my little a up my little app because this thing it's now now it takes the the battery is dead. So let me start the phone and uh, hopefully reset that. And then I'm. This is, let me see if there's anything uh, in there. Nope, the battery's dead. So that short time trying to charge my cell phone killed the charge I had on the little battery inside this. Thing. So we're going to try to get my, you now my, my, my cell phone takes forever to reboot. We're going to get it back up and we're going to try charging the cell phone while cranking the dyno. I don't know how long I can crank. Okay, the cell phone's almost ready. It's coming up. Let me get it back on the home page. Okay, now the my uh, my little application here is showing 99% charged. So we're going to plug in Oops, that's the wrong page. Oh, I know what I was looking at before. I was looking at the icon that's just for the app. It's not the app running. So that's what I was looking at by mistake. So I got into that mode. That's yeah, wrong. Oops. Okay. So this is the real 
icon or the app that's running. That wasn't what I was looking at before. Let me see if I can make some more mistakes. Okay. All right. Let's plug this back in. That's the trouble with these cell phones is it's easy to touch them and get into a different mode. Okay, we're going to plug this in. And right now, the app does not show any charge because we've drained the battery in here. So let's see. And I don't have enough hands, so you'll have to just bear with me. Uh, let me see if I can do this. No, you can't see it. I was trying to get it so you could watch. You could probably almost see it there. Maybe, bear with me. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can monitor that app. Okay. So this is the battery app right there. And when in the cell phone is being charged, there's a little uh, lightning bolt over here in the upper right hand corner. So let's, I'm going to. It's not charging now because I've discharged the little battery in this thing. So I'm going to attempt to rotate the dynamo and see if I can get it into charging mode. Here we go. Yes, I don't know if you saw it, but there's that little orange lightning bolt. So I'm going to stop. I'm tired. So, and now it stopped. So that was a little tiny lightning bolt up in the upper left hand corner indicating that I was getting a charge and I was getting a charge as I was running the dynamo. So that mode works, although uh, <laughs> it doesn't work for me very well because I don't have the strength. Now you can, uh, you know, somebody else that's much younger than me can use that mode. Now which of course you want to do is you'd want to turn off your cell phone so it's not drawing anything and then use that dynamo mode where you're turning the crank and charge your cell phone up enough so that you can make an emergency phone call. So that's the way it works. I'm trying to show you, you know, how this particular, and all the all of them have, well not all of them, but most of them have that function that you can use this little guy here to charge your cell phone. You have to be pretty hefty or younger to do it, but it can be done. You could, now what I would do in my case, if I was in an emergency, what I would do is I would use my sequence where I crank for a minute and then I rest for a minute, I crank for a minute and then I rest for a minute, and I try to do that for five minutes. Possibly that would give me enough charge on the internal battery to charge my cell phone enough to make a one phone call. Well, that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, oh, please give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go get a uh, something to drink and calm down, cool off, rest, recover. Have a great day. Bye-bye.